welcome to a hiding in the woods with Tweedy drinking wine video. Uh, sorry, it's not called that, is it? Welcome to a English sparkling with Tweedy video, an English sparkling with Tweedy video. I've recently taken delivery of some wines from a merchant called Hawkins Brothers. They're based in somewhere like Godalming, Guildford, somewhere like that, in Surrey. So appropriately, it seemed like the first one I was going to try from that box, I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to crawl all the way over there to show you that bottle properly. This is Greyfriars. I don't think I have featured this producer before. It's a vineyard, I think in the Surrey Hills, probably not far from where Hawkins Brothers is based. It's the 2019 vintage. It's a Blanc de Noir, it's the style I always like. Puttenham is a sort of roughly Guildford kind of postcode. Guildford casts a very broad shadow, doesn't it? My image of Surrey is always just Guildford and Woking, and I assume it is just one massive sprawl of those kind of commuter towns just south of London. But the reality is there is actually a lot of really quite nice countryside in Surrey. And of course, the North Downs runs through there, sort of separating it from South London. And um, I, there's also the Surrey Hills. Is that sort of a spur or an outcrop of the North Downs or is it just a hill range in its own right? Anyway, so you've got, you know, your Box Hill and all that. Famous wineries there, or famous in England, like Denby's. Don't particularly like their wine, but <laughs> massive old school English winery. Getting very strong whiff of Soubois here. Autumn has very much arrived. Ah, there we go. Great. That initial nose is a little bit more gooseberry-ish than I perhaps would have liked for a Blanc de Noir. What I really want out of Blanc de Noir is sort of berry fruits, hedgerow fruits, a lot of Pinot character. It should be entirely Pinot. I don't know the breakdown. There might be some Mernier in here in, among, in amongst the uh, Pinot Noir, but I imagine it's predominantly Pinot Noir. It is still a little bit orchard fruity, a bit apple-y, a bit gooseberry-ish, and there's possibly hints of black currant in amongst that so you know the contents of some sort of um foraged very english pie apples from a, an orchard plus well not exactly foraged is it a wild orchard blackberries gooseberries i don't think do they grow do they grow wild is that a thing wild gooseberries nice and full mouthfeel mouth filling that uh, the texture from those bubbles i do get a bit more berry like fruit character there rather than just the gooseberries a red berry like fruit character i mean there might be a little bit more of that sort of blackberry kind of hedgerow sort of character but in amongst that we've perhaps got a little bit of raspberry more orchard fruit again nice i would say probably appley sort of zing more than citrus type zing so it's more malic than citric the acid there nice and zesty nice and mouth watering decent long finish to that. Pretty pleasant, but it is all a little bit kind of greener. The fruit character and everything else, a little bit greener than I would perhaps imagine from a Blanc de Noir. I want it to be a bit redder, a bit noirer, a bit blacker. Not quite so green. I read the tasting notes from Hawkins Brothers just to check against, and they also pick out the red apple. Did I say red, but apple anyway, it's quite apple -y. And for the berry fruit character, they describe it more as cranberries and red currants and I think that's sort of code language for it's on the slightly more sort of bitter slightly more sort of nuanced side of red berry fruit it's not sort of luscious opulent you know strawberries raspberries raspberries those kind of um, red berry fruits so it's a little bit more severe and that's probably where I've ended up with gooseberry when I think of gooseberry I think of a slightly sort of slightly tartar slightly more bitter slightly more almost astringent version of berry fruit character so I think we're essentially saying the same thing but all of that actually sounds a little bit negative doesn't it um I do think it's quite nice actually it's quite pleasant but um you know you just have to set your expectations correctly that uh, I was you know imagine Blanc de Noir is going to be this sort of fruit bowl of red and black fruit and um it is quite often a bit greener and a bit more bitter and a bit more astringent, a bit more nuanced. It's <laughs> probably a more positive way of saying that, isn't it? But I do like the zing. I do like the freshness. I like the mouth-watering quality of it. I like the finish, nice and long. Yeah, I'm sure I will enjoy the second glass <laughs> even more than the first because it's actually very pleasant being out here in the woods. 